Today I'm going to review the Porsche Taycan, one of the most exciting electric cars on the market. The Taycan is Porsche's first fully electric car and it aims to combine performance, luxury and technology in a stunning package. But how does it compare to other electric cars like the Tesla Model S? And is it worth its premium price tag? Let's find out in this video. Exterior and Interior Design The Taycan looks like a futuristic version of a Porsche 911 with sleek curves, sharp lines and aggressive headlights. The car has four doors but it still has a coupe-like silhouette that makes it stand out from other sedans. The Taycan comes in different trim levels such as the base model, the 4S, the Turbo, and the Turbo S. Each one has its own distinctive features, such as different wheels, spoilers, and badges. The Taycan also has some cool details, like an illuminated logo on the rear and an optional glass roof that gives you a panoramic view of the sky. The interior of the Taycan is spacious, comfortable, and luxurious. The seats are leather-wrapped and offer plenty of support and adjustment options. The dashboard is dominated by a 10.9-inch touchscreen that controls most of the functions of the car, such as navigation, media, and settings. There is also another screen behind the steering wheel that shows you important information like speed, battery level, and driving mode. The Taycan also has a third screen on the passenger side that lets them access some features without distracting the driver. The cabin is filled with high-quality materials like wood, metal, and carbon fiber that give it a premium feel. The driving experience of the Taycan is exhilarating and fun. The car has an electric motor on each axle that gives it all-wheel drive capability and instant torque delivery. The range and charging of the Taycan depend on which battery pack you choose, either 79kWh or 93kWh. According to EPA estimates, the base model with the smaller battery can travel up to 200 miles on a single charge, while the Turbo S with the larger battery can go up to 212 miles. These numbers are not very impressive compared to some rivals like the Tesla Model S, which can go over 400 miles. However, the Taycan has an advantage when it comes to fast charging. It can use up to 270 kW chargers that can replenish up to 80% of its battery in just 22 minutes. A suite of advanced driver assistance systems, ADS, called Porsche InnoDrive that can help you with adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, traffic sign recognition, and more. A head-up display, HUD, that projects important information onto your windshield so you don't have to look away from the road. A night vision system that uses infrared cameras to detect pedestrians, animals, and other obstacles in the dark. A surround view camera system that gives you a 360 degree view of your surroundings when parking or maneuvering. A collision warning system that alerts you if you are approaching another vehicle or object too fast and applies emergency braking if necessary. Received message. Price and value. USD. Min. Max. The price and value of the Taycan vary depending on which model and options you choose. The base model starts at $86,700, while the Turbo S goes up to $187,400. That's a lot of money for an electric car, but you get what you pay for. A Porsche that delivers exceptional performance, quality, and style. The Taycan also comes with some perks like three years of free charging at Electrify America stations and access to Porsche Experience Centers where you can test drive other models and learn from professional instructors. The Taycan is not a cheap car, but it's a valuable one. The Porsche Taycan is a remarkable electric car that proves that Porsche can innovate and adapt to the changing times. The Taycan offers everything you would expect from a Porsche. Speed, handling, luxury, and technology. It also has some drawbacks like limited range and high price, but they are outweighed by its strengths. The Taycan is not just an electric car, it's an electric Porsche. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.